Hi, welcome to the course. My name is Tyler Pollard and I'm the e-learning specialist here at Algoma University. Sean and Lauren asked me to uh, create a demo video for Moodle uh, where I'll be explaining what Moodle is, what content you'll be able to find on your Moodle course page, um, how to navigate through the course activities and resources, how to open and view the lecture, um, how to post within a discussion forum, as well as uh, many other important tasks that you'll be asked to do. I hope that you find this video informative. Okay, so what is Moodle? Moodle is a learning platform or learning management system, also called LMS, which we use at Algoma University as a central repository for all our course content and activities. Moodle is an all-in-one system which faculty can use to integrate everything needed for a course using a wide range of built-in features designed to support both teaching and learning. You will need to visit your course Moodle page regularly as you work through the content of this course. Okay, once you successfully enter your course enrollment key, you will then be able to gain access into the Moodle course page for CSD 2016. Uh, when you first enter the page, you'll notice that everything is organized uh, with a series of blocks or cells on the page. The top cell or welcome cell to the course contains a welcome video, the course syllabus, a video for course expectations, this Moodle demo, uh, an announcement forum, a student's introduction forum, as well as instructions for uh, posting within a discussion forum. Make sure that you go through the content of each of these resources as it will ensure that you have a positive experience within this course. Under the top cell, the course is organized by week, starting with week one. At the moment, week two, three, and the remainder of the weeks are hidden from your view, but will be opened as you move along through this course. Each Friday, Sean and Lauren will open the content for the following lesson. Now, looking closer at week one, you will see that the content is organized under a bunch of activities. So what you have to do once you go into your week for example, here is week one. You will have to click on each of these activities in a linear fashion from start to finish. I'm going to demonstrate this now by opening the overview page. Within the overview, you will see a basic breakdown of the activities for the week. You will notice that there is an introduction to the lesson followed by the uh, assigned learning outcomes. Uh, if there are any weekly readings that you have to do before the class, they will be posted uh, in this section here under weekly readings. Uh, following that there is a discussion forum. Sometimes this will be empty depending on the week but this week you will notice that there is a discussion question present on this page so that will give you uh, information about that at the start of the lesson. The easiest way to navigate back to your course page is to hit the back button which I'll demonstrate now. Once you're back on the course page, you can then go to the next activity in the list, which is your agenda. Once you enter the agenda page, you will notice that either Lauren or Sean will have an introduction video for the lesson, where they will walk you through the agenda. Going back to the course page, I'm going to hit back again. You will see uh, following this, the lecture which I will be explaining here shortly in a separate part of this demonstration video. Uh, moving in a linear fashion, you can then open each of these activities one by one as you go through the lesson. The assessment page has information about both graded and non-graded activities within your course, so make sure that you click on this. I'll demonstrate here by clicking on the icon. Uh, in week one, you do have a graded assignment which is represented by the percent sign. And underneath uh, the icon, you will notice that there is some further detail explaining what you have to do in this particular activity, which is to post within the discussion forum. Another way to find your way back to the course is to actually use the menu tab at the top of the screen. Here, I'll notice that I have week one opened here on the top tab. I'm going to click that, which will take me back to the course. That is basically it for the overview of how the lesson will be broken down within Moodle. 
within lesson one, you'll notice that there is a discussion forum uh, where you will have to post your answer to a discussion question. Okay, in this section of the Moodle demonstration, I'd like to explain how to enter the lecture section of the lesson. So within week one, you'll notice that there is a lecture uh, and it's represented by a gift icon. So you can enter the lecture by clicking either on the word lecture or on the icon itself. Once you do, a prompt will open on the screen which asks you what type of view you'd like to uh, enter with. Uh, for most cases, uh, just click on the normal view and hit enter. Depending on the device that you're viewing the lesson on or the lecture on, you will see, or sorry, you might see a yellow launch button. If you do, click on this and then the lecture will open uh, and be present on your browser. Uh, if you are returning to the lecture, you'll receive another prompt which asks you if you'd like to resume where you left off. In this case, I'll say no, which will then uh, start the lecture right from the start. As you work your way through the lecture, you will notice that either Sean or Lauren provide further information through narration over the slide. Again, you can go about this at your own pace by selecting on the left-hand navigation bar or using the navigation tabs at the bottom of the player. If you want to pause the recording, hit the pause button. If you want to go back, hit the previous button. Uh, if you are having trouble hearing the narration, there is a volume control at the bottom of the page. Other features I'd like to point out on the lecture part of the lesson is up at the top here. You will notice that there are notes inserted for each part of the slide that has narration. So if I play this part here now, you will notice, you will notice that there are some transcripts of the uh, audio here in the notes panel. If you click on the resources tab, you will notice for some lessons that there are inserted links and files for the lesson to supplement your learning. If you want to go back to the menu to view the slides, you can do that by going here. If you want to exit the lecture part, please click on the exit button. This will take you back to the lesson. Okay, I hope that you found this uh, short demonstration video for Moodle very helpful. If you do experience any problems or any issues as you work your way through this course, please don't hesitate to contact either myself or Rose Taylor. So you'll see our contact information here. If you, for example, you have problems navigating through the content of a page, if something doesn't open properly, if you have problems submitting an assignment, just any uh, issue that you have within the LMS, uh, we are here to support you. So definitely reach out to us and we will respond to you as soon as we can. Thank you.